What's up guys, it's MB Boxing and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Josh Taylor versus Jack Catterall and this is going to be a 12 rounder for the undisputed WBC, WBA, WBO and IBF Super Lightweight World Championship and this fight is going to be Saturday, February 26th from the SSC Hydro in Glasgow, Scotland and this fight is going to be broadcasted on ESPN+. Plus. And to get both fighters' resumes, Josh Taylor fighting out of Scotland holds a record of 18 wins, no defeats with 13 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number one by Boxer in the super light, super lightweight division, and he's also the current undisputed super lightweight world champion. And to list some of his best victories, he has a knockout win over, over O'Hara Davies, a unanimous decision victory over former world champion Victor Postol. He also has a unanimous decision win over our former world champion Ivan Baranchik. He also has a majority decision victory in the World Boxing Super Series final over Regis Progre. And he's coming off a very strong two-knockdown unanimous decision victory over Jose Carlos Ramirez to become the undisputed world champion. And to get his opponent's resume, Jack Catterall fighting out of England, holds a record of 26 wins, no defeats with 13 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently not ranked by BoxRec in the Super Lightweight division due to inactivity. However, to list some of his best victories, he has a unanimous decision win over Tyrone McKenna, and he has a unanimous decision victory over O'Hara Davies. And, to get, and in my opinion, this fight um, is actually going to go in favor of the undisputed, undefeated world champion, Josh Taylor. I just think that Josh Taylor is levels ahead of Jack Catterall, and I think he's more experienced even though he, he has eight less professional fights. When you look at Jack Catterall's resume, yes, he might have one or two wins over top 15 guys like, I'm, like I listed earlier, but I mean, Josh Taylor, in only 18 fights, he's fought some of the best guys in the world at Super Lightweight, and he's beaten all of them. So, I mean, I just think he's going to win this fight pretty easily if I'm going to be 100% honest. I know Jack Catterall's record on paper might look insane um, at 26-0, and but when you really take a look at it, it's not that great, aside from one or two decent wins, like I listed before. So, yeah, I think Josh Taylor will easily win this fight. Um, Josh Taylor, being a very good southpaw, has great power, great speed. He's a very good counterpuncher as well. He could box, he could come forward as well. He's just overall a very well-rounded fighter. And nowadays, in this era of boxing, we're seeing a lot of very well-rounded boxers become very good world champions and have a lot of success. Like, for example, Alexander Usyk. I mean, you've seen Usyk knock guys out. You've seen him box. You've seen him come forward. You've seen him do everything. He's got good defense as well. And Josh Taylor, I mean, he's just the full package, as I mentioned before, has every attribute you would want in a fighter. Um, he's decently tall for this weight class. I mean, he's a very good, well-rounded fighter. His attributes also stack up to his skill, and I really think we're going to see Josh Taylor dominate in this fight. And Jack Catterall, he doesn't really have a lot of power, so I don't really think it's going to be much of a threat. I mean, if Taylor could take shots from Regis Progre without getting knocked out and take shots from Jose Carlos Ramirez and even Ivan Baranchik, then I think that he will be good for this fight um, regarding his chin. But um, Jack Catterall, I mean, he likes to sort of box more, likes to fight on the outside a bit more, try and counter his opponents. And Josh Taylor, I mean, we saw in his last fight against Ramirez, Ramirez was the one with that Mexican style that loves to come forward. And Taylor easily was able to counterpunch Ramirez and got him um, once with a knockdown with a counter left hand going in. And then um, the second knockdown was, was with that left uppercut in the clinch. But um, yeah, Josh Taylor in this fight, I think we're primarily going to see him dominate and come forward. Uh, he's probably going to come forward with the same level he was against Epinem Kongsong, like an opponent who he didn't really see as much of a threat, where he's just going to come forward and break his opponent down. I mean, I know the K Kong Song fight only lasted like one round or less than a round. Uh, this fight will definitely go a bit longer, I think. I think that Catterall is definitely more durable than um, Kong Song, but um, I still think he's going to get stopped. And I don't think that Jack Catterall will be able to handle the pure skill um, and just experience of Josh Taylor at the top level. Taylor, I mean, in only 18 fights, as I mentioned before, has so much experience against the top guys, and Jack Catterall really doesn't have that, and I really think that's going to be the biggest thing in regards to who's going to win this fight. And um, Josh Taylor, overall, the better skilled, more powerful, more composed, um, and experienced fighter at the top level. I think he's going to get the job done. 
and going to stop Jack Catterall from round 6 to round 10. So, like, from mid to late, I see Josh Taylor breaking down and stopping Jack Catterall. Catterall, um, as I mentioned before, he likes to box a bit, likes to counter. He could come forward sometimes, but I don't think he's going to be the one coming forward and taking any risks against the hard-hitting, undisputed champion. I think he's going to try and box a very smart fight, but um, I don't really think he's going to have much success considering that Taylor um, is really a level ahead of Catterall in every aspect. I mean, if we're going to be 100% honest. And comment down below your thoughts, on, your thoughts on this fight and if you think Josh Taylor is going to win as easily as I think he will. And I think the stoppage could be a corner stoppage. Um, it could be a standing stoppage. I don't, I don't really see Catterall getting like dropped or knocked out cold, like not getting up for the 10 count. He might... But uh, I see him either getting dropped, standing up, and then Taylor finishing the fight. Um, a corner stoppage or just a standing stoppage in general without any knockdowns. But it could definitely end in just a knockout in general. And that's what I'm predicting. Just a knockout, either TKO, whatever, RTD, um, depending on whatever it is. It's still going to be a knockout, in my opinion, for Josh Taylor. And I think that leading up to the stoppage, Taylor will be ahead winning every single round. Um, like I said, if it goes past 6, it could be 60-54, to 54, 8 80 to 72, whatever. I think he's just going to dominate in this fight. Don't really see. I don't really see Catterall having much success, considering that he doesn't really have the power um, to keep um, Josh Taylor off him. And Taylor is just overall more experienced at the top level, and he will use that to his advantage and win this fight by knockout. So overall, I believe that Josh Taylor will will successfully defend all four of his undisputed world titles for the first time. And I know he's defended. Um, his separate titles numerous times, but this is the first time he's defending his titles undisputed. Um, so I think he will get the job done, as I mentioned before, and that he will stop Jack Catterall from round 6 to round 10 to stay unbeaten at 19-0 and with 14 wins coming by way of knockout. And yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.